Hey everybody, today is another mommy episode, but I do have Juju joining me because she loves makeup, so anything that has to do with makeup she wants to be part of. <laughs> um, Today I'm going to be testing out the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer. So if you want to see how this works and what my thoughts are on this. I keep a walking. My name is Juju. And this is my world. The only thing I have on my face is some moisturizer. If you can see, my face is naturally a little bit red. And even though I put my moisturizer on 30 minutes ago, it's already starting to get oily. It gets oily even if I don't have anything on it, basically. If you saw my last video in Las Vegas where I got ready in our Las Vegas suite, if you haven't, I'll link it down below. But I did say that I've been using the MILF primer and that I was running out. So I decided to see if a drugstore primer would be just as good. So I decided to get this Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer um, because I heard good things about it and I heard it's good for oily skin. So I wanted to try it out and I'm going to actually do an all day wear. It is currently, I think it's about 7.30 p.m. And I know you're thinking, how am I going to do an all day wear when it's 7.30 p.m.? but I work night shift. I'm probably not going to even sleep until like 3 or 4 a.m. and that's just naturally what I do. So actually I will be wearing this primer with makeup on for probably about eight hours. I ordered the primer off of Amazon and it was about, it was under $5 and I know you can also get it at Target for about $5.99. What it says on here is it's a mattifying primer. It's shine controlling for minimizing hydrating feel and smooth skin. Can be worn alone under makeup or on top to create a perfect matte complexion. Control shine for up to eight hours. We will see if it actually does control my shine. And if it does, that's gonna be a great steal because the milk primer that I usually use, I think it's over $30. And this is less than $5 off of Amazon. I put it on my hand. It's a thicker consistency, so I'm going to put about that much and then put that on my face. Juju is over here <laughs> putting on eyeshadow. I, what are you using to put it on? She's actually using, can you show? <laughs> She's using a hair clip. Juju, when she comes into frame, you're going to see her with some pink eyeshadow on. For Halloween, I'm going to be like a, um, like the, I'm going to be that blue one. Uh huh. Yeah, we're going to do the with black. I got black hair. Who gets black hair? Pink hair. Juju always talks about every single day what she's going to be for Halloween. She's been saying it since Halloween what she's going to be for the next Halloween. It's not tacky at all but it doesn't have that, like that slick silicone feel, but it does have a more silicone feel than the Milk Primer. Um, you can tell that the Milk Primer really grips your face. This one doesn't really have any tackiness or anything, but it did go on smoothly. My skin does feel a lot smoother since I put it on. I'm just gonna let that sink in or just let it sit for a little bit because I don't know if this needs like a dry down time or anything before I put on my makeup. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Revlon Color Stay Foundation and I'm going to be mixing two colors, uh, 220 Natural Beige and 240 Medium Beige. Our dog is behind us right now and she's kind of just rolling on her back. <laughs> <laughs> So you can see again, my face is a lot more red, but I feel like when I match it down to my I neck, it matches better. Pink. Huh? Yeah, it has like a pink undertone. I really like this foundation, it has really good coverage. I didn't even use like a full pump. I'm barely like putting anything onto here, onto this brush. And it covers so much.
I feel like my foundation laid on pretty well on top of the primer. I don't feel like there's it was any different than how it usually is. So I think that's pretty good. Now I'm going to put on some concealer. Ooh. I'll be using my Makeup Revolution concealer. Pretty. <laughs> I'm just going to use my brush to blend it out. I'm going to set the concealer. He's taking too long. I'm taking too long to do my makeup? Oh, your makeup looks beautiful. I like makeup yeah. too. Well, I'm going to do my brows off of camera and then I will be right back. Eyebrows are on, so I am going to now finish my face makeup. I am going to put some bronzer on. So the last thing that I'm going to do is do a quick spray of my NYX matte finish. Do you want to spray, Juju? Yeah. Okay. Two, um, <laughs> Two sprays? Okay. Did you feel it? Yeah. Okay. It's wet like water. I did a pretty simple makeup look today. I just didn't really want to go into more makeup because really I'm just trying to test out the primer. So I would say that my foundation and the base makeup all laid pretty much the same as it usually does. I usually do get a little bit of like dryness when I initially put on my makeup right underneath my eyes and my cheeks. But for some reason, an hour later, once my oily skin starts to peek through, I feel like it goes away. So I will do a check-in during the four hour mark and and then I will do the last check-in at eight hours just to see how it holds up. Juju, you wanna tell them about your makeup? Yeah. <laughs> so guys, uh, I'm real all pink. I mean, I'll do pink stuff. And I got that like a half hour and then I got that like a pink black hair because my hair is supposed to be covered with pink hairspray, but it's okay. <laughs> yes, she wants her hair colored pink, and I am not letting her do that yet. <laughs> Maybe when she's older, but not yet. So. <laughs> See you later. I don't want. <laughs> okay, it is actually been five hours, not four hours, since I applied all of my makeup. And this is what my face looks like. It is pretty shiny. This is not super shiny for me because I get really shiny everywhere. Um, but it's pretty much on the cheeks there, on my nose, my forehead, the T basically the T-zone area. The contour looks like it's still there, but the blush is pretty much gone. The blush was exactly where all of the shiny parts are. Um, and then my nose as well. Um, the foundation looks like it's come off on the ball of my nose. You can still see the contour, but on the ball of my nose, it's pretty much gone. Especially on the cheeks right now. It's really shiny. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to touch up just a little bit. I'm going to use my little Blendable and I'm going to use the Stay Matte that I normally use. Um, dab onto the shiny areas. 
Um, so I'm going to dab back onto the shiny areas, just like so, and then also on my nose. So you can see it took away the shine. I took away most of the shine, and then I will do the last check-in in about three hours. See you then. All right. It is currently 4.30 in the morning, and it has been eight and a half hours since I put on my makeup. And this is what it looks like. Let me see if I can get closer. If I get really close, like you can see, look at that. It, like my texture is coming through. Um, yeah, it's just all oil. What do I think about the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer? For less than $5, it, it wasn't horrible. I mean, I get a lot oilier than this. Uh, so for less than five bucks, I, I'll still continue to use it. It's not like something that I would throw away, but probably not in the long run. I will not buy it again. So if you or any of you have any recommendations for me for a drugstore primer that I can try out, test out, that you feel is like a holy grail that lasts for a long time, let me know in the comments below so that I can do another eight hour wear test and see if it works for my skin. Bye, see you next time.